Hey guys, I'm Ben. And I'm Jared. And we just checked out Kingsman 2, otherwise known as Kingsman The Golden Circle. So is it any good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean... No, 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 no. We, we, we usually throw to the intro and then we talk about whether it's good or not. Oh, okay. Just do that then. Okay. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> so Kingsman The Golden Circle picks up with Eggsy, now a full-blown Kingsman agent. But when a mysterious organisation wipes out most of the Kingsmen, Eggsy and Merlin set out on a mission to find the bad guys and team up with the stateside version of Kingsman, the Statesman. So Jared, I know you're a big fan of the first film. Massive fan. How does this compare? Is it any good? It is good. I don't think it's as good, but it's a solid sequel. Everything is bigger and uh, I don't want to say better because I don't think it's... What I liked about the original Kingsman was that it was so surprising. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I didn't, I didn't really know anything about it going into it. I just heard that it was good, so... Yeah, it was a, at the time it was a bit of a breath of fresh air, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. So this is, the, uh, this is Kingsman, like, amped up to 11. Right from the get-go, you're pretty much thrown into an action sequence, so... Uh, all the pieces are there, I just don't think that it holds the same... Maybe it's that it doesn't hold the same surprise that it did the first time. So yeah. you kind of, you, you know the beats that they're going to hit a little bit. Would you say it is as in your face as the original? Because I know there's a few scenes in that first film, like the, the church scene with yeah. all the killing, um, <laughs> and uh, a little moment at the end, a cheeky moment at the end of that film. Um, would you say that it, like, has that same amount of like what the fuck kind of factor going on? No, I don't think it does. I think it has... I think the action scenes are really well done. And um, if you can kind of imagine that church scene, the frenetic action, close up, yeah. single shot, well seeming like a single shot, that's kind of yeah. floating, more... Floating camera... Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what you, what you get in this a couple of times over. Yeah. They kind of repeat that over and over yeah. again in this film. Like, still solid. Yeah, it works really well. Yeah. Like, you know, you're not going to see action like that in any other no, kind of... Overall, solid, solid sequel. What do you think? Uh, so I, I enjoyed it as well. I didn't... See, I, I said this to you before the film. I was surprised when they announced that this sequel was even happening because I kind of liked the first one as a self-contained story, but, yeah. you know, everything's a franchise these days, so you've got to expect that. Yeah. It did well at the box office. Um, I kind of don't think this brought enough... Um, new stuff like to the plate like it didn't do quite enough didn't break enough new ground for yeah. me um yeah the action was like as you said like it's impressive to watch um i think we can't talk about this film without talking about the statesman which is yeah. the big new storyline that they introduce here yeah um so what did you think of that and do you think yeah, they're interesting the characters that are introduced as part of the statesman uh well uh, yes and no. I don't think they're given quite enough. Uh, it seems funny to say in like a two and a half hour movie that they're not given enough screen time, but you really are with Eggsy and uh, Merlin for most of the. And I don't think it's a spoiler to say that um, Colin Firth is back as um, Harry. So you're with those guys. They're your they're your eyes into the world. So the the statesman um, characters are kind of on the periphery. And the ones that you think will be sort of the main characters aren't really... Channing Tatum, yeah. for instance. <laughs> Which, yeah, it becomes more of a cameo than anything else. The funny thing is he probably still would have gotten paid, you know, more oh, yeah. than most of the actors in this film yeah. for what is essentially like a supporting role. Yeah, except, but it, except for Jeff Bridges, who, who shows <laughs> yeah. up for like three minutes. Yeah, and yeah. wobbles away like he does. <laughs> but yeah, well, let's talk further about the cast. Um, I think, you know... I think Taron Egerton is solid yeah. as he was in the first film. And I think he's grown into the role even more in this one. He seems yeah. more confident in it. He wears a, a great orange orange jacket in this. I really want that jacket. Well, you I, can probably buy it. Yeah, I'm sure I can. Yeah. You guys, let's start a GoFundMe and yeah. you can let's, let's let's get me a jacket. Let's get Ben the jacket. Make dreams come true. Yeah. Just a cheeky ten grand, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, he's great. Um, the other returning players are great, yeah. like Colin Firth is, you know, it's always funny watching Colin Firth just kick ass. Yeah. Um, Mark, Mark Strong's always great. Yeah, yeah, look, I like seeing Mark Strong as a good guy for a yeah. change. Yeah, it's nice. Um, but it is a big ensemble cast and, you know, you got Julianne Moore's the villain in this. Jeff Bridges, just very easy role for Jeff Bridges to play. Yeah. 
He's basically Jeff Bridges. And Halle Berry is in this as well, playing like a nerdy type. There's quite a few Oscar winners in this film, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, surprising, but... I feel like Matthew Vaughan got some bang for his buck here. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, like the future of this franchise, do you think this is going to do well? Do you think there'll be a Kingsman 3? Uh, well, apparently Kingsman 3 is already on the cards. Maybe. Well, that, that is, isn't this always the case though now? <laughs> like, King Arthur hadn't even come out and they're already talking about like five, five goddamn movies yeah, with that thing. Yeah, that's not getting a sequel. Yeah. Uh, this one, however, probably will. Uh, the fans that liked the first one will come back to the second one and they'll enjoy themselves. It's a, it's a, it's a solid movie and uh, you'll, have a, you'll have a great time. Uh, as for where it could go in the third movie, I'm not 100%. I'm but, pretty sure Matthew Vaughan probably has a pretty good idea. Yeah, I mean, as long as all the players are back, I'll, I'll come back. So for me personally, I wouldn't mind seeing Matthew Vaughan go off now and make something a little different. Yeah. You know, he's proved himself with Kick-Ass and this franchise. I think he's a really talented director, and I actually think his best work is ahead of him. Okay. Um, yeah. That's kind of what I would like to see. Yeah. Challenge, maybe try something different. Yeah. Maybe a drama. I mean, look, he could go off and make six Kingsman movies now yeah. for, all, for all I know. Yeah. Like, wh what does he fucking care? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my personal wish. Yeah. I agree. He's a very talented guy, and you can see it all on the screen, so... And yeah, I think he gets rumoured... Whenever these French, big franchise movies come around, like, he gets rumoured. Yeah. But he's never quite taken that leap. Well, because now he's rumoured to take on the new Man of Steel movie, yeah. potentially. So. Which he won't comment on. Yeah. But I'm sure if he does take it on, he'll probably do it, all the pre-production, and then just, like, leave just beforehand <laughs> yeah. and go and make, you know... <laughs> Another Kingsman King. 4. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So Kingsman, the Golden Circle, what do you give it, Jared? It's a big yes from me. Small yes from me, big yes for the orange jacket. Yeah. I'm going to go start that GoFundMe right after this review. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for more videos and reviews, hit that subscribe button down below, like we keep saying. God, you must love that. Um, and we'll see you next time for Kingsman 3.